No fans will be allowed in the stands to start the season for all UH fall sports due to the surge in COVID cases. The ban implemented by Honolulu County officials applies to football and women's volleyball and soccer. The situation will be evaluated again in the coming weeks to decide if fans will be permitted to attend games. County mayors are also sending Governor Ige their proposals for more restrictions. Everything's on the table from beach closures, curfews, bringing back the pre-travel test, and even vaccine passports. Nikki Schenfeld follows up. Get vaccinated or be restricted from activities. Several countries and U.S. cities have already implemented a vaccine passport, and that seems to be what some county and state leaders are in favor of. Earlier this afternoon, there were roughly 380 COVID hospitalizations statewide, the highest amount since the pandemic began. Many are wondering why restrictions weren't put into place ahead of the three-day weekend. We had so many more restrictions in place earlier in the pandemic when we had less cases. We have more now. We have more illness. We have more ICU patients than ever before. And we have less restrictions than we've ever had. I'm concerned. Hawaii County Mayor Mitch Roth asked Governor Ige to shut down Big Island beaches and to bring back the pre-travel testing program for all travelers. He says 90% of Big Island COVID patients are unvaccinated. People say, are these things working? Yeah, they're working. They were designed to keep people from dying and getting seriously ill. And, and that's exactly what's happening. When a total lockdown has been discussed, but some say it wouldn't be fair to punish the vaccinated. If you shut everything down and you send people back into bankruptcy, not able to pay their rent or their mortgage or for food for their kids, because 17% of the people have chosen not to be safe, it's a very harsh decision to make. A vaccine passport would allow vaccinated individuals into restaurants, bars, and gyms, while unvaccinated people would have to take a pretest beforehand. I would be in favor of passport or, or vaccination passport to reduce the, uh, the spread, you know, and not mixing non-vaccinated and vaccinated people together. Kauai Mayor Derek Kawakami said he will support any uniform preventative measures the governor deems fit. Mayor of Rick Blangiardi's team says the city is working to determine what is feasible, and the governor's office will not comment on proposals while they're being reviewed or discussed. Nikki Schoenfeld, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.